ChatGPT is now available as an Android and iOS app on your smartphone in July of 2023. I'm Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. We've been waiting a long time for ChatGPT to roll out apps for our smartphone, and it's done. They're slowly rolling it out around the world in different locations. And recently, in Canada and the United States, the Android and iOS app have been made available for us. Today, I'm going to talk about installing the Android app on my smartphone, my Pixel 6. If you are a new or experienced user of ChatGPT, you'll want to watch this video because there are some changes that have occurred and limitations with the Android app. I'm going to explain that when I show you how to install it on your smartphone today. This is using ChatGPT as a browser-based application on your smartphone. We'll look up ChatGPT in our Google browser. We'll find that here. And you'll see now we click the login. Welcome to ChatGPT. We're going to log in. I use the Google prompt to enter what, rather than a password. This puts me right into my ChatGPT account. There's a few setup processes that you need to do, but it brings you to the main menu And you have the option of a free account or upgrading to Chat 3.5 or Chat GPT 4. All right, let's look at the difference between running Chat GPT on your browser versus the Android app on your smartphone. The first thing you're going to need to do to install the Android app is you're going to need to go to the Play Store and download it. This is so important that you pay attention and only download the ChatGPT app from OpenAI. When you go to the Play Store, you're going to see lots of things that look similar and lots of other apps that are going to try and fool you. But you only want the ChatGPT app from OpenAI, and I'm going to show you that in just a minute. The second thing is you're going to want to have a ChatGPT account. If you have an account and you've been using ChatGPT, no problem, it will sync up and everything will be fine. The third thing you need to know is if you want to upgrade to 3.5 or a higher version of ChatGPT, you cannot do it in the app. You have to do that on the web portal through your browser and then it will flow through to the app. This probably will change in the future, but right now it can only be done on the web portal. Also, all your search history and everything will be available for you on the app as well. So let's have a look and see how the app is going to install on your smartphone. All right, let's go to the Play Store. We're now on my Pixel 6 phone. I'm going to click the Play Store and we're going to uh, look for ChatGPT. Now, you can do a search and look for ChatGPT. I got an ad right away that says, now available, ChatGPT, the official version, and I clicked install. Let's open it. It looks as though it's installed now. And here we are. This is the main message in the app. It looks a little different than the web-based version. We can now type a message. And if we come up to the top, you'll see I'm using the free plan. Uh, if you have uh, paid for a plan and you're using a uh, higher version, then that will be there. All right, let's look at the settings. You'll see my email address. I have the subscription free plan, data controls. We have Chat GPT Plus. We have the premium features, priority access, and ultra fast coming soon in the app. So you have to select this. And if you want to upgrade, do this through the web portal rather than the app. Data controls, you have chat history and training, you have uh, clear chat history, export data, and delete an account. You have the option of color scheme, you have uh, uh, light, dark, or system default, you have uh, haptic feedback, 
and it auto detects your language. The thing I want to point out in our message center here, we can either type the message in or we can dictate it in. This makes it quick for easy access. Just to give you an idea how fast it is, I'm going to ask it to do five important things to stay healthy. And you can see that it did that very quickly. So that is the chat GPT app that you can use on your smartphone. So chat GPT can be used through your browser on your Android phone or the new Android chat GPT app. I think you'll find a few less steps to use the app. And of course you have voice dictation to make it even faster. Give it a try, but make sure you get it from the Play Store, and that it is OpenAI's version. Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you do the like and subscribe. Until we see you again, have a great day.